While working at Keystone Ski Resort in Summit County, Colorado, the maintenance guys had to help the housekeepers in cleaning rooms. The rooms were then inspected to ensure that all was done properly. Not only were the beds to be neatly made and the floors vacuumed, there was to be not one water spot on the chrome faucets, the glasses, or silverware. Spotless was the aim. During the ski season, when one room was vacated at 11 a.m. and the same room was to be occupied at 11.01, the detailing of the room was often close enough good enough, and the room declared clean. It is often the same with us, and the problem we have is, we think we are the inspectors. So of course we are going to declare ourselves clean, good enough, and close enough. We overlook the spots, we ignore the bed not perfectly made, we do not look down at the carpet to see the footprints. It adds up to insufficient, not clean and impure. On the surface, maybe. But when we examine ourselves according to the handwritten decrees of God, impure is the correct word. This because these handwritten decrees examine the heart and where the heart is not clean, then the surface will not be clean. Where the heart is clean, then the surface will be clean. What does David in Psalm 51 ask of the Lord? Create in me a clean heart. And later in that Psalm, David says, Then will I teach, then will I do, and then will the sacrifices be acceptable to you, Lord. What is finished is all of our heart's impurity, and that only by faith in Jesus. Because our Lord Jesus in his own heart, from conception to death, was pure. This is attributed to us by faith, counted to us as our own. Through faith in my Lord Jesus, I am clean, I am pure, because it is finished. This certain truth, this unchanging fact, is there for me every day. Just as I shower and clean my body each day, so each day through faith, my Lord Jesus removes my impurity. The room that is my heart is spotless because of what Jesus accomplished for me.